Now, there's, very, there's a lot of ways to actually actually be consistent with uh, tracking and circulation of the disease or infection. There are any number of ways of doing it. I don't know if anybody really wants to do that. Most people who say that step want to avoid getting all of these back infections and getting it infected. You do So, how do you do it? How do you avoid getting an infection? Don't do it. Don't do what? Don't do it. 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 Yeah, but wouldn't that make life less fun and more boring? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of people who decide not to have sex. Uh, and they choose to be for very few. For example, Buddhist some people who are members of religious orders normally don't. If they take a vow of abstinence. But uh, not very many people do that. So, now, it seems that you really don't have a lot of detailed advice for one of your friends. So what I would recommend is that you check in this chapter that has some very good questions. Any questions? Um, let's see. Uh, what symptoms do you think uh, would indicate that anyone might have a sexual disease? Or how does it work for adults? If they had sexual transmission infection, you need to be active in the Okay, burning the sensation on the view. It's not the urination. It's the sensation. It's the sensation. It's the sensation. It's the sensation. What are some sexual transmission infections that you need to know about? Because if you don't know about it, you obviously can't use it. We were in Canada. Uh, rashes uh, are symptoms that you are in. Okay. Um, what else is it? Does anybody know the name of the sexual transmission? Okay. Is there a name? 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 Now remember, when you are thinking about sexually transmitted infections and preventing them, that we contract them in the various way, and they affect us in various ways. And you may remember from studies in developmental psychology, or you'll find out if you don't check or study developmental psychology. Gonorrhea is a infection that is primarily external. So if you have to have them and you're also pregnant, then in order to avoid infecting the baby, you know, the birth process needs to be surgical rather than vaginal. On the other hand, syphilis, like in or AIDS, or blood-borne viral infection, and if you're pregnant, you can't it's very difficult to bring your baby from the time you can. So if you intend to have children who are happy and healthy, then you want to need to avoid contracting these diseases. Very good. Okay. Now, this is the last thing. What is your last thing? It's Corino. Corino. What do you know about alcohol use and smoking among college students? It could uh, disturb your learning process, you know, because um, sometimes you, a student is more focused on the drugs than on his actual schoolwork when one when gets really addicted to it. So it's not really, I mean, you, for somebody who does it, you can do it just not as much. Of course, I don't really do it. I don't use it, none of that, but it's, it's a good thing. For, for those who aren't addicted, it's a good thing because it, it gets out of your way, you know. And I'm sure that we all know, most of us know, that uh, smoking is alcohol abuse can actually kill brain cells. So if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you think that you need brain cells and you'd like to get rid of some, you can do alcohol is a wonderful way to get in. I'm not wonderful, it's one of the ways. 
in a very effective way. Unfortunately, when you drink alcohol, especially the first three to five large quantities of alcohol, if it rests on one cell, it's not like the rest of the cell. So you can't decide which brain cell you feel. It's kind of um, brain cell roulette, you might say. So when you use alcohol, remember that you are getting rid of some brain cells that you may need someday. So be careful about how you use alcohol. Now, smoking. Uh, what are some of the negative effects of using tobacco and in particular smoking? Just regular cigarettes, by the way. Mm -hmm. Something else. Back to your lungs, okay. Um, so again, what do you think? What are some negative effects of using or abusing nicotine? I think it's not too much. Right, now that's, that's more cosmetic, and it doesn't really affect yourself, but it is something that is aesthetically not very good. Something to keep in mind if you or someone that you know uh, smokes, cigarettes, is that the nicotine, the nicotine does in the cigarette is it makes a little bit or pothole in on the interior of your blood vessels, primarily in the arteries. Then when you have an unhealthy diet, like a lot of fat or cholesterol or unhealthy substances in your diet, then that substance like cholesterol and fats and type of drugs and all the lids collect in the of the little bit and swallow up your order. Then the lender on the way to the doctor and it's not the smoking habit for and you how much you smoke and when you start smoking. So when you're forty or even forty five, some of your order is supposed to fall up. That's the little really tiny ones around your heart and your brain. That keeps your heart and brain and other parts of your body from getting the nutrients in it. Now, this is funny. What are the nutrients that are there in the blood that uh, a clogged up artery can't deliver? Oxygen, and then, of course, other vitamins and minerals that are on the Okay, um, again, I think there's a few. What are some consequences that can result from a use of prescription drugs? Yeah. Yeah. And what else? And even if you don't die, what can happen? Do you know if you have two treatments between physical addiction and psychological addiction? Do you know what are two hundred times of physical addiction? Because the reason I have to stress is you make you get and actually if you do become physically addicted to the drug and then you can't leave yourself off of it, get off of it, but then you stop taking it. You could not. It's not like you need the drug to feel good. You need the drug to survive. So remember, the people don't by the way before I'm talking about what or two hundred times of physical addiction. 